Hello everyone, my name is Robert and welcome to a new series on the channel. Today we're gonna start to play Minecraft. I've been waiting to do this playthrough for a long time. <laughs> right, let's jump into it. I'm not gonna go into too much depth on uh, the world creation, but just know that uh, the seed here, it's important we can uh, specify the map we want to create. I'm gonna talk about the seed a bit later on, but for now, all we need to change or make sure it's the way we want, it's uh, the game mode, which is uh, survival, we're gonna play on survival. Um, the game world type is default, you have a, a few others, so make sure it's default if you wanna do the same. Experimental, I'm playing on 1.20.1. Version of Minecraft, so this is all we have at the moment. I'm gonna turn it on. Uh, these are not features that are in the game yet, so they're experimental. These are some game rules that you can change beforehand before you can uh, start your world, and some data packs that you can add on. See the bundle that we just uh, added, it's been selected over there. It should have been here otherwise. Um, we're gonna leave that blank, it's gonna automatically generate a number when we create the new world. Let's give it a name. That should be alright. Alright, and uh, without any further ado, let's get into it. I'm gonna be with you once the map is loaded. And here we are. I let it uh, load a little bit, but it's still not uh, fully loaded in. Because we just created the map, it's gonna take a, a little while until uh, everything loads around us. We should be fine afterwards, but uh, it's gonna be a bit uh, laggy at start. <laughs> It's really nice to finally start a series of Minecraft. I've been uh, I've been waiting to do this forever, and uh, it's uh, it's really a, an amazing game. Right uh, now that we're uh, in the game, yeah, I need to I need to change this. Give me a second. Reset on F5. Yeah. Okay, F5. Yeah. Because if you press F1, you, you take away your UI to make a screenshot, for example. But uh, uh, the terrain, it's amazing. So, if we press F3, we can see over here, I'm gonna highlight it. So we have the X, Y, Z uh, coordinates. The, the X, it's uh, the red line. You see our target over here, the cursor. It has a red line, a blue line, and a green line. The red line is the X, the green line is the Y, uh, and uh, the blue line is the Z. So if we move that away, we're going down. Like minus 15, minus 40. If we move back on the blue line, it's minus 18, minus 22. So that's, that's the way coordinates work. If we jump, it's 93, then it's 92. We go down even further, 88. So that's the, um, the coordinates of the world. We need to press F3 to bring them up. Uh, there's a lot of other information on F3 over here. But for now, we're, uh, we're gonna stop at that. <laughs> All right, the first thing we need to do is uh, simply punch a tree. So instead of going down, I'm gonna start from up here since we started on a canopies. I'm gonna punch the leaves down and then uh, start punching the, the the tree trunk, the logs. And once all the logs are disconnected from the leaves, they will start to decay automatically. If uh, <clears throat> we have one log connected to them, they will uh, they will stay alive. 
thinking that's a tree, keeping them alive. But this is the first um, material that we actually need in Minecraft. So using the logs, now we can uh, transform them into planks. If we put them in our crafting table over here, we can create four planks out of one log, so we have eight. We've put two logs up there. Now with the planks, we can create different things like a button, sticks, or a crafting table in our in our case. <laughs> right. We put down the crafting table and now we have a 3x3 three three area where we can uh, build stuff in. It acts the same as uh, the one in our personal inventory but it's bigger. Right, now using some sticks and some planks we're gonna create some tools. Um, if we put just one of, on top over there, it's gonna make a wooden shovel. If we put uh, another one, it's gonna be a hoe. You can put it in any direction, orientation I mean. And then if we put one over there, it's gonna be a pickaxe. But if you put one over there, it's gonna be an axe. You see the, the axe shape and the handle? It makes sense. We're gonna make a pickaxe, not an axe at the moment. And um, you see over there, we have some stone and some horses, but uh, the stone, I need the stone. Ow, I should have taken the crafting table, let's, let's bring this with us. Alright, let's uh, go down. And get some stone. I'm gonna go over there. There is some next to the wall. You can simply dig down, you'll eventually reach stone. But this is easier. Right. I'm gonna take the dirt away. And uh, using the pickaxe, we can mine the stone. And we're gonna receive cobblestone back, and we. We got a new achievement, the Stone Age. And then we have uh, one for uh, iron. But we don't have any iron at the moment, so stone is all we got. Now, this is important because uh, stone is a lot better than wood when it comes to tools. We can make a stone pickaxe, which is a lot faster than the Boom, boom, boom. Okay. See now, compare that speed to the one before. It's a lot faster. And uh, with eight pieces of stone, cobblestone, we can create a furnace. I'm gonna make a shovel as well. And let's make a sword. So now it's pretty it's pretty simple. The the pickaxe is the tool used to destroy uh, solid objects like stone, rocks, things like that. Ooh, we got some sheep. The axe it's used for wood. The the shovel for sand and dirt and grass. Uh, and the hoe is for farm, like farm objects. Right. We got a sheep here. We're gonna jump and attack to critical hit. The reason I'm doing this is for the white wool. Well, the meat is also useful, but uh, if we have three wool, 
of the same color, we can make a bed. Boom. Okay, so we're gonna put the crafting table down. We're gonna put three planks like that, and then three wool on top of each, and that's gonna give us a white bed. Now, if you use different color wool, it's gonna give you different color bed. But we can uh, we can change the color using these. Oh, look at that! A baby cow, right? And because uh, night time it's about to start, we're gonna place the bed down and sleep to pass our first night I mean we could dig a shelter and stay indoors but uh, this is easier the reason we do this is because uh, during the night monsters are spawning when it's dark so um, we don't want that <laughs> at least not right now this, uh, this seed it's interesting. I see there's a cave of a... No! Do you guys see that? The, the pink sheep, sheep is the most rare of them all. I need to save that sheep. In... Uh, in a normal game, there's a low chance of a pink sheep to spawn naturally. And there we go! We got a pink sheep over there. I cannot believe it. Hello! Um, we do have a problem though. I don't know how to save it. Sheep? Go back. Come on. Come on. Stay in the hole. Until I find a better solution to save it. Okay. Get in there. Sheepy. There we go. You shouldn't be able to come out. Hello. <laughs> um, I don't think he's gonna despawn, but I'm not sure though. I cannot believe we found a pink sheep. All natural. And this is an interesting cave. We can uh, do something about it. Maybe build a base somewhere close. But I don't want to rush in deciding where I'm gonna. What? Pillager outpost. That is good. And we have some uh, coal and some iron over there. Or yeah, that's iron. Okay, um, we are gonna go mining. <laughs> we need the we need better equipment and also, oh, we got sugar cane behind me over there. You see it above my head? That's amazing. That's amazing. Right, um, I'm gonna try and find a place where I wanna. Ow, ow. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna try to find a place to build a base, start a base. Very beautiful. Any other iron? Don't see any. One, two. Three iron. 
Can we find any more? Come on. Okay. There's a creeper over there. This is dangerous. No, let's uh, let's not risk anything. Ooh, hidden in plain sight. I didn't see it. Another four. Ooh, cold. <laughs> the pink ship is still there. I think I'm gonna build on this hill over here. Our starter base. Yeah, that sounds uh, sounds about right. Yep, we're gonna we're gonna build a base here, and then we're gonna figure out where we want to build our actual big base, but. Uh, Let's do a starting home here. Right. Gonna put uh, down the crafting table. The furnace. Let's. Uh, make some torches. If we put sticks with coal on top of them. We make four torches out of one and one. And then we can... Uh, spread them around. To raise the light level around our base. That way the monsters will not spawn. Well, they will spawn, but not next to us. That was the last one. Right. Let's see. We cooked the food. Yeah, we're regaining some, uh, some health back. We got a few things around here, but uh, we don't need everything. The flowers, we can transform them into dyes, colors, and then uh, light gray. We can combine the colors if you want, well, not those, but yellow and um, red gives you orange, uh, red and uh, blue gives you purple, I think, or violet, what is that purple? And then. Uh, what? Isn't that supposed to give you green? Yeah, it should, but it doesn't. Green, it's only from cactus. And... Uh, I don't know what else, but it, there is something else, I think. I don't remember right now. I gotta... Mmm, pumpkins. That's good. They will spawn around that tower. We should be safe here. But there is always a chance they could spawn a bit further up. Iron pickaxe. Nice. Also, I would like to make a, a few chests. We need wood. Put the wood in there and then we make a circle and there we go, we got two chests. Now you can place a single chest like that and another one, they're, they're singles. You can also place one next to each other, but if you press shift 
they don't connect. Now, if you don't press shift, they will connect if they're next to each other. I believe if you put it the other way around, yeah. If you put it in a different orientation, it will not connect. But even if you from this orientation if, and if you press shift, if you click on the chest instead of the ground, it's going to connect. So, yeah. Uh, the inventory is bigger when it's doubled. See, it's, uh, it's a lot bigger. Right, we're going to dump everything in here. Let's uh, separate them at least a little bit. Tony bits, <laughs> ores, right, that's pretty much it I think, yep, right, um, now I believe uh, we can start making our house here, but first I'm gonna take down a few, a few of these trees around here, and afterwards we're gonna continue building everything but we have no space plus we need the materials so uh, I will uh, see you guys in a little bit after I'm, I'm done with everything while I'm uh, deforesting uh, the hill and gathering a bunch of materials in the back over there I thought I'll take a moment to say hi to everybody and welcome you to the wonderful world of Minecraft <laughs> My name is Robert and I've uh, discovered Minecraft, I don't know, about 5 years ago I think and it's, uh, it's completely won me over with uh, the limitless possibilities that it has um, I made a few playthroughs on my channel and uh, I know this choice of game might not be on everybody's uh, liking but uh, I'm here to show you the potential that Minecraft has and who knows maybe you'll uh, grow to like it <laughs> I really hope you're enjoying Alright, uh, we need to clear a little bit more space around here Oh, hello. What do you have, my dude? Black dye, brown mushrooms, lime dye. Well, we don't have any emeralds, so. I wanna, I wanna make like a, a stone foundation.
And with that, we'll uh, stop here because uh, I'm out of stone. We have no more stone. And I don't want to make the entire floor with, um, with oak again. Because I made uh, like this, uh, this shape over here and if we're gonna put half slabs it's, uh, it's gonna make sense once, uh, once I have some stone or uh, deep slide, I don't know. The thing is, I'm out of materials, so we're gonna stop here with, uh, with the house constructions. It's not too wow. I don't know, I'm, uh, I'm not the best builder, but uh, we're, we're gonna get there. It's gonna look a lot better than this, but... Uh, I'm, uh, trust the process, trust the process. <laughs> well, that's gonna be it for this uh, episode, I guess. It's <laughs> It's been quite an adventure. We did, uh, we did a few... a few things in our base over here, but uh, we haven't we haven't finished everything. But uh, it's, it's gonna look a lot prettier, I promise. Don't uh, don't let yourself be fooled by uh, by the cobblestone here. It's it's not that pretty, I know. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna get a lot more prettier blocks soon. Make sure you hit that uh, like button and, and subscribe. And I really hope you've enjoyed this episode. It's uh, it's been very fun for me to make it. Uh, I'm not the best at it yet, but uh, well. Uh, We'll get there soon. That's uh, it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, all the best my friends. Bye.